it was, I think the Jordan 12 breads. Somebody there was on my case about those breads. It's just the breads. Yo, peace and love family. We are back and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good this video. I'm feeling pretty good. We have the bread 12s and me and this shoe, we go way, 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 way back. Hold on, what does this guy gotta say? Here we go. Okay, I thought he actually had something important to say. So basically, this isn't really a performance test. Well, well, you know what? It is a performance test. It is a performance test because I went out there and I performed. I basically just went to the gym for a few hours. And you, you guys got to realize I'm still having some problems with my back. So I was kind of taking it easy here. Wait, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't, don't tear them up too early now. But as you can see, I can barely jump still. Like, look at that. I mean, I don't have any hops anyway, but dang, man, I got to work on that. Like right now. I would be shocked if I could even touch the rim, and I didn't even try that day because I didn't want to jump. Again, I'm still trying to recover, guys. So, anyway, the Jordan 12. Um, I used to play in this shoe back in the day when it first came out, and later on in the video when we get to the um, unboxing and all that stuff, I'm going to compare it to a pair that comes from 2003. Yes, 2003. And um, oh, that was nice. Okay, but I'll bring those out a little later. But right now, again, I'm just kind of I just shot around. I didn't play ball with anybody. Those guys got annoyed. The gym gets kind of packed a little later in, in this video, but I just didn't feel like playing. I probably couldn't run with those guys anyway. Um, here's some on foot shots in the gym, and uh, I'll do some outdoor on foot here in a second. And here's the performance test. It, they have pretty good grip. I didn't even wipe these off at this point. I just kind of went for it, and you know, it, it, it was weird because some spots it was kind of dusty and you could you could slide some spot it was like these are just kind of locked down I, they're kind of inconsistent so would i play in these sure i would i'd play in them but i don't know the 12s are a little they're a little heavy but if you like supportive type sneakers a lot of people are wearing like really light shoes and these aren't really that light but they kind of give you that support that i don't know i kind of think i need it they'll weigh you down a little bit so if you don't have a vertical like me i wouldn't suggest them but these are classics man i mean as far as the flu games being the flu games, I think after the Jordan doc came out, that story of Jordan actually having the flu when he played, it's up for debate at this point. And me, to be honest with you, I grew up thinking Jordan had the flu when he played in that game when they won and it was kind of like legendary. So I just choose to still believe that's the story until I get any hard facts from Scottie Pippen or... <laughs> Or Jordan or anybody about that. I'm just going to go with he was sick. I'm just going to say he was sick. I don't care if it was the flu or pizza or alcohol, whatever, whatever they were doing. He still won the game, and that's all that matters. And right now, I'm taking the shoe off because something kept, like, rubbing the side of my foot. I, I couldn't figure it out. Like, I took these off a couple times, and I think it comes down to the tongue. Only on that right shoe. Like, I didn't have them tied that tight, but I like to have these, you know, kind of tight when I'm jumping around and playing in them. And it was just kind of rubbing my foot. Yeah, we know you're not going to play, you lazy bum. But no, I, I could, look at this guy. Does he make it? Uh, no, he probably doesn't. So got on the stair stepper, and man, I lasted probably about a minute and a half on this thing. It was killing me. I don't usually do the stair stepper, but the ellipticals were all taken. And now we're outside. This is the next day, and it started the snow, so they put down salt. I got salt all over these shoes. And you guys, you guys know how I do. I wear my shoes. I beat them up for these reviews. And, you know, I just keep it pushing. But these are pretty slick. The, you know, the one thing I hate about the gym is the lighting's so nasty in the gym. It's like that yellowish. It just doesn't look good. So I figured I'd wear these another day, crease them up some more. And just looking at them, I played ball in an hour. Let's crease them up some more see how creased they get. Look, they just snap right back. That's why I love the 12. The 12 is like the most durable Jordan they've ever made, probably. I'm going to go on the record and say that. This is the most durable Jordan Oh, wow, that was a good crunch right there. But I love them. I had, I just had to wear them one more time. And I just didn't like the on-foot shots in the gym. It was kind of nasty. I, that lighting just kills me. So natural lighting always wins. But okay, see? Look at me trying to trying to mess my leg up again, doing all this crazy stuff I shouldn't be doing. And if you made it this far, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. Um, dislike the video if you like. I don't won't see if you do. I think that's so funny how YouTube switched that up. There's no thumbs down anymore, man. I kind of, you know, I kind of like to see things, but whatever. Um, okay, some more shots. And these are beautiful shoes, but I think 12s 
look amazing on foot. There's also a blue pair that looks just like this. They're just blue. Those are amazing too. And these look, I've seen some nasty looking 12s, but I think if you just keep the colors, you know, just like white and red, like the candy canes, you'll always go right. You always win with the 12s. All right, so uh, let's pull these out of the box. I love these boxes too. They kind of take it back to the days of like 98, 97. This is what they were coming in. And I love it. Other Nikes were coming in these boxes too, if I'm if I'm right about that. I think a lot of the boxes at this time just look like this. But you know, it took a hit, no big deal. So let's let's get into these. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the details, but these this is actually before I did all the bat basketball again. I mean obviously, but this is what they look like before I crunched them up a little bit and that leather looks amazing man that is some very 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 nice tumble leather like really really nice like i'll say it right now just looking at these shoes there i don't i couldn't find a flaw except right there actually well i found the flaw i'll go back to that later but on this shoe i'm holding on the left side where the midsole meets the upper it just looks like it's kind of bulging out a little bit and that's that's the nitpicky stuff and i didn't notice that till i compared it to the old retail i have but again, I didn't notice that on the court. I actually forgot about it until I started looking at this video again. But these are good, man. I mean, the Jumpman's crispy. Everything's crispy on these. I, I can't find one flaw except, so you see there on the left, like where that 23 is at the bottom on the left, it just looks like it's bulging out just a little bit. I don't know, it could be in my imagination. So on the right, you have the one from 03. On the left, you have the one from CNJ. And, um, Look at the leather. That, that that leather is so old over there, man. Like, it's 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 weird. It like shines like it does. It still has kind of a gloss to it. Like, look at the leather on the right, man. It's still aged very very well. And as far as the reds, I don't care that they. I mean, the shoe on the right has been oxidized for so long. I don't think it can look like the other shoe. I don't even know if it looked like that originally. I can't remember. And I didn't really care because when you got the shoes back in the day, you just bought them and you were happy to have them. You didn't really look at all the stitching and all this stuff. But look what happened. And the funny thing is, I went to 24-Hour Fitness about a year and a half ago. And I played in these and I left and I was like, why does my shoe feel floppy? Kind of like that little LeBron uh, 10 situation I had. I was like, why am I feeling this floppiness? And I looked down and the soles started to come off. Now, can you see that on the left now? Oh, well. But anyway, say look at the bottoms of these, man. They're so oxidized. It's kind of amazing. Carbon fiber looks good on both. I mean, again, these shoes are pretty spot on. I think it's old, man. I love it. I'll probably never wear them again. Well, obviously, until I fix them. But I probably won't fix them. I'll just leave them like that until they crumble. I don't have very many old shoes like that. So it'll be dope if they crumble like another five years. I'll be cool with it. Under the black light, I don't, I don't see anything on these. It looks kind of crazy under the black light like an infrared looking thing but look at the old ones man look at the old retails i don't know if that bottom part is that color because it's just so old or what but it's like white that's very very interesting and i don't know what all that crap is on them man i, I mean <laughs> but that's it guys shout out to the gift that sent me these sorry it took a while but you know life happens and sometimes you just can't walk in life and you know you gotta do what you gotta do but peace, love, and life. Catch you on the next one.